Diplomats and activists working for various NGOs, spearheaded by the Stimson Center, are planning to reform the United Nations in the near future, perhaps with a major overhaul. A telling sign of things to come is renewed dialogue about holding an Article 109 UN Charter Review Conference, a kind of constitutional convention at the international level. A significant alteration of the UN's structure would presumably require such a conference. But it gets more interesting. In their draft agenda, these experts raise the prospect of replacing the UN altogether by creating, quote, a new successor organization with a new charter, similar to 1945 when the UN was created and the League of Nations was dissolved, end quote. In August, a summary and a video appeared showing more details of the discussion for taking global governance to the next level. Reading from the summary, quote, Could beneficial changes be done within the current UN framework, perhaps by initiating a smaller set of focused and strategic amendments to the UN Charter, or deeper transformations? Or should another organization be created to gradually replace the UN, due to the substantial changes needed to ensure a workable international security architecture? Article 109.3 of the UN Charter foresaw the holding of a general charter review conference within the first 10 years of the Charter's life, an event which never took place. The experts discussed whether it may be time for such a conference to be finally held, end quote. It goes on, quote, But will the P5 ratify an amendment that eliminates the right of veto? If not, will not the only remaining option be to dismiss the UN and establish a new organization? There was a two-thirds majority that voted for all the UN General Assembly resolutions condemning Russia's aggression in Ukraine. This majority constituency of states could initiate either a charter review conference or an establishment of a new organization, end quote. In addition, a spreadsheet has appeared, shedding yet more light on plans underway for strengthening the UN. In it are discussed three proposals, reforming the UN for increased effectiveness, rethinking the UN system and its place, role in global governance, and drastic revamping of global governance. Here's an eye-opening item. Revive the ideas behind the new international economic order. I take this to be a reference to an early draft of the United Nations Millennium Declaration in 2000, which contained a controversial proposal that was subsequently removed. I'll have much more to say on recent efforts for UN reform in future episodes of this playlist. We'll explore the history, philosophy, and personalities behind these plans. There's even a religious and spiritual dimension as well. For now, listen to these excerpts from June's web conference. Notice the emphasis placed not just on amending the Charter, but on the possibility of replacing the UN altogether with a new world body. On behalf of the two co-organizers of this event, the Foundation for Global Governance and Sustainability, of which folks of which I'm the executive director, and the Global Governance Forum, of which Augusto Lopez Claros is the executive director, would like to welcome you to this discussion, we hope uh, will be a lively one. To give the new Security Council power to deal with breaches of the peace, the planners of Dumbarton Oaks propose that it shall be free to act anywhere in the world at any time. So, it was a certain circumstances uh, that gave rise to the start there. As Mr. Truman arrives, 63 days of concerted international effort are climaxed by the signing of the United Nations Charter. First to sign is China, the first nation that suffered Axis aggression. Dr. Wellington Koo signs with a traditional Chinese brush. So it's remarkable in some ways how it survived for all these 77 years, although it may be showing its age now. And we are going to talk about that. It was not the first instance of a world constitution in a way. It was the second iteration after the covenant of the League of Nations. The Allies built on that. They tried to correct some of the problems of the League that had led in only 20 years to another world war. And from these discussions, there has emerged a blueprint for a new international organization. And indeed, they managed at least to avoid a major global confrontation. Now we feel that we may be witnessing a third world war starting sometimes, hopefully not. And uh, hopefully it won't be the unraveling of the UN uh, or whatever it is, it won't have the cost in human lives and um, and destruction that the Second World War is, and we will go to better days soon. Recently, we saw again that the veto is impeding some serious decisions in the, on the Security Council. It would be better if we had had that um, review conference 10 years after the adoption of the Charter. According to Article 109, the latest 10 years, there should have been a review of how the Charter works and amendment of the provisions that don't work, but still, that never happened. And the problem is that if we try to amend the Charter, the five permanent members of the Security Council have a veto. So abolish it or go to something completely different, I suppose this is a part of the discussion. What happened to the League of Nations may be happening to what we built afterwards of the United Nations. Are you ready for a new world order? 